positive cases of COVID-19 here in Florida numbered more than 7,000 today as the positive infection rate rose to more than 16%. WPTV News Channel 5's Matt Sesney explains a big concern is how the virus is infecting younger people. At first, people were going off of, uh, well, young, young people can't get it. I'm 25 years old. I got it. Jovi Jose survived his bout with COVID-19. He thinks he got it back in March during an outdoor festival in Miami. It hit you like a ton of bricks. Like the fever came out of nowhere. And then uh, you just feel, it felt like a very severe flu to me. Um, lots of chills. And it lasted for a few, I couldn't break the fever. The reopening of Florida, and in particular South Florida, has drawn worry from medical professionals as happening too soon and too quickly. These days, testing sites have long lines as more people worry about being exposed to the virus out in public. It's basically, it's as if we've squandered all the pain and agony of having gone in lockdown by our own behavior. Dr. Aline Marty is with the Florida International University and has said the state is moving too fast in the wrong direction as too many ignore guidelines and mandates. Look guys, let's, let's, let's take a look in the mirror. Let's figure out what we as individuals aren't doing right to get the virus out of our community. A lot of people, they don't recover or they're still out of work. And, and you know, so no, not at all. It, it puts things into perspective for sure. Joby says it took him three weeks to get over COVID-19. And even now he says he still takes precautions and still gets tested. In West Palm Beach, Matt Sesney, WPTV News Channel 5.